All right, well, I'd like to share with you my expanded version of the Whispering Jokers. I'm going to call this the Silent Witnesses. So if you like the Whispering Jokers, I think you're going to really like this one. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the two Jokers, as, as you can see here on the table. And, uh, and then we're going to have a spectator take the deck of cards. They're not actually going to look at the cards just yet, because we don't want them to be influenced in any way by seeing the cards and how they're going to deal them. And what we're going to do is we're going to have them deal them into four piles. And they can deal the cards any way they like into the four piles, as long as they keep the piles relatively even. I mean, they could deal a couple cards on one pile, a couple on another, whatever. But any way they like, again, as long as the piles are relatively even, okay? So, you know, something like this. So the spectator deals however they like. And once they've dealt four piles like so, they can choose any two piles to mix together. And we'll do this Rosetta Shuffle. It's the easiest shuffle for small packets of cards. It's a nice uh, chaotic kind of shuffle that you can, you know, see that uh, this is undeniably mixed. Um, you know, this is no cheesy uh, false shuffle or anything. So we'll do this for the other remaining piles. We'll just push the de cards together just like so, so you can see that they are genuinely being mixed. And for the two piles all together for the entire deck. We'll do the same thing. Make a nice Rosetta formation of the cards and or a chaotic one I should say and just push them all together and you see, as you can see these are definitely being mixed. There's no doubt. Now we'll get the deck all squared up here and once we have the deck squared up if I can get it, please bear with me. <laughs> okay, whoops, let me get that up there. It's kind of tricky on this table I've got. Okay, so anyways, now once we've done that, we're going to set these silent witnesses in key positions in the deck so they can witness everything that goes on in this mixed deck of cards. So to do this, we're going to set the joker about a third of the way down from the top and the other joker from about a third of the way from the bottom. So we'll say in a 52 card deck about, well, the 17th card. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and we'll make this the 17th from the top. And the same with the other joker. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and the 17th from the bottom. Okay, now once we've done that, we're going to leave them face up to witness everything that goes on in this deck. Now the spectator, uh, or if you have two spectators, which is even better, you have first spectator just cut anywhere near the middle, midsection of the deck, and to remember whatever card they've cut at, okay? Now you're not going to see this card when you're performing it, they're just going to remember the bottom card they cut at, okay? Secretly to themselves. So of course they're going to remember Ace of Spades in this case. Spectator 2 is then instructed to cut three quarters of the way of the remaining cards, anywhere about three quarters of the way. So they're going to remember the four of spades in this case. So spectator one just replaces his packet on the deck, spectator two, the four of spades on top, the top portion. Okay, so we're going to remember in this demonstration, ace of spades for spectator one, four of spades for spectator two. Again, when you're performing this, you're not going to see these cards. Now, what we're going to do, once the deck is squared up, we're going to pull out our silent witnesses. Okay, and then we're going to have this silent witness, the first of the Jokers, uh, secretly, seem to secretly tell you that the first selected card, the Ace of Spades in this case, is actually now the 20th card in the deck. Well, let's just see if that's true. Would that not be amazing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, it's the 20th card, and for the first time, the spectator would, re would reveal their card, the Ace of Spades in this case, and there you have it. Now, what's really interesting also, is the first Joker also, being a witness of everything that goes on, can tell you that in this packet, there are actually 10 black cards and 10 red cards. Well, would that not be amazing if this is true? Let's see, let's separate the reds and blacks. And sure enough, it sure looks it, we've got 10 reds, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And of course, being 20 cards, the rest have to be 10 black. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so we've got that. Now, the second Joker. Oh, good job, Joker, by the way. Anyways, let's see uh, the, how the second Joker witnessed. I'm sure he did pretty damn good, too, you can bet. Um, the second card, the spectators remembering the four of spades, of course. This Joker saying that their card is actually at the spelling of the color of their card and the suit of their card. And then lastly, by spelling the, the word jokers, we should arrive at their card. Well, let's see if that's true. So for the first time, the spectator, spectator two reveals the color of their card. They don't actually say their card yet, just reveal the color. So four spades being black, of course, we're going to spell black. B-L-A-C-K. Now the uh, their card being a spade, we spell spade, S-P-A-D-E. And lastly, like I said, we spell jokers, J-O-K-E-R-S. And believe it or not, we arrive at the second spectator's card, and they reveal it for the first time, the four spades, and there you have it. Now, what's really interesting too, is this joker also knows that their card was the 36th card in the deck. Now, obviously we've arrived at 20 cards here for the first card, so we're continuing. We should have up to 36 cards if we continue from 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. Now, maybe you're thinking, well, I probably just, you know, figured that out from seeing the cards dealt, but how can I prove that the Joker actually knew that it would be the 36th card? Well, he actually knew the whole time because it says 36th after spelling the color, the suit, and jokers. And this joker also knew in advance that it'd be the 20th card and that there'd be 10 red, 10 black. And one last little thing to mention, what's really interesting is the black four of spades brought with it in the remaining cards, all the black cards with it leaving behind all of the remaining red cards in the other packet. Bizarre? Well, I hope you like it. If you can really use this effect, uh, please thumb up. And um, I'll leave the um, expl explanation, I can't even say the word, explanation in the uh, description box. And because uh, there's just a few key points that you'll need to know, obviously. Um, but basically, I mean, this is 100% self-working. It's a very easy trick to perform. Um, so just follow along with the performance video I just showed you again, and just sort of use that in tandem with, uh, with the key points that I'll explain in the description box. Okay, so I really appreciate you watching. And again, please thumb up if you really like this and can use this effect. And uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.